I'm so excited to announce that I am starting a certification program for therapists and coaches and also mediators, attorneys, clergy, counselors, to help people communicate better and to resolve their differences. Over 30 years ago, I combined my degrees in therapy, mediation, law. I've taken courses at the Chopra Center. I'm a meditation teacher, yoga teacher, and Ayurveda teacher. And I combine the psychological and spiritual, the legal and financial information that I want to give to you so that you can give it to your clients. Because together, we can help change the face of divorce and conflict in general, one heart at a time. And I'd love to give you the benefit of my 35 years of degrees and experience to let you take this process of compassionate mediation wherever you are in the world and use it to help your clients. So you're a therapist or a coach, you can get up to 40 hours of continuing education credits because my course is approved by the National Board of Certified Counselors and it's also approved by the International Coach Federation because I have the benefit of all of my scripts, templates, outlines, handouts, contracts, and I'd like to share. Wouldn't it be nice if families could be peacefully and respectfully restructured? I want to offer you the skill set that I've developed based on IFS therapy, based on higher consciousness, which includes the psychological and spiritual healing along with emotional and financial and legal support. I know there have been times when I was starting out, I used to watch my counseling sessions get hijacked by an angry participant. And until I learned how to practice the skills I want to share with you, I would often not know how to handle that angry participant. But with compassionate mediation, you help people connect with empathy and get to the pain and sadness underneath so that the anger dissipates. And it also helps you serve more clients because you become an expert in the field of conflict resolution. You offer a deeper healing and transformation, and you have a skill set so that if your clients are considering a divorce, you know what to help them with. It doesn't mean you have to be a lawyer or a mediator. It means you have to know enough to talk about the issues that they need to resolve to move forward. And there's many times when people are in individual counseling or couples counseling, and one or both have thought about what would a divorce look like? but they don't even want to talk about it because they're scared if they do, it makes it too real. But compassionate mediation lets you talk about everything, including what a possible ending would look like so that they can create a new beginning. Because too many times when we're doing therapy and somebody says they want a divorce, we lose those clients to a mediator or to an attorney because we don't have the skill set to offer them what they need to know so that they can talk about the issues that they need to resolve at the same time that you help them resolve them. Dick Schwartz has said about the process that it's relationship healing at its best. The book, Compassionate Mediation, How to Add Passion to Your Marriage or Compassion to Your Divorce, gives you a roadmap on how to work with couples in conflict but it outlines the process, how to help people be their best self, create a compassionate relationship, explore their options, understand their rights and finances, and truly create the relationship they desire and deserve. And should you want to learn this from me, my courses are approved by the International Coach Federation and by the National Board of Certified Counselors. And it's not just for people that are considering divorce. Whatever skills I offer you can be used with any of your clients, individually or together. When you have a client who's wondering, should they stay or should they go, you'll feel confident in supporting them, not in giving them the answer because you don't have their answer, but helping them get to their higher self so that they can figure out the answer for themselves. And they're not being reactive and defensive or retributive or blaming or judgmental. They're coming from their higher self. IFS talks about when we're calm, clear, and compassionate. That's the energy that you help them get to so that they can make their own decisions. 
But at the same time, you offer legal and financial information as well as emotional and spiritual support because I give you those details. Again, you're not offering legal advice, but you're helping them know that if they're thinking of separating, they need to talk about what to do about the house. Well, just mentioning what to do about the house brings up all kinds of emotional reactivity that you can help them with as they learn how to communicate with empathy and compassion. And as you coach them through their discussions, healing can happen and they can actually make a new relationship because they've learned how to communicate. So what you get in the compassionate mediation coaching certification is you get my step-by-step -step coaching method. I've written it out. I give you all the details, the handouts, the templates, so that you actually know what to say. I give you concrete skills to use in your practice and new ways to help your clients practice compassionate communication. And you'll gain confidence that you have the skill set to coach them, guide them, and inform them with tools and techniques that I've developed over the last 35 years. And again, my deep gratitude to Dick Schwartz and the Internal Family System community for all that I've learned there, the Chopra Center for all I've learned there. And I blend it all together along with my personal history and give you that for you to use in your practice. So if you're a therapist, you can't practice law, but you can offer a legal informational framework that would help your clients. And you coach them through their discussions. So instead of losing a client to a mediator attorney, you get to work with them for weeks and months and sometimes even years as you go on to help them learn how to communicate better. And if you're a coach, you can get an expanded toolbox, which will have clients looking for you instead of you looking for them. If you're a mediator, what compassionate mediation does is give you a skill set so that you can work with the emotional turmoil that's going on in your office. Because lots of times when people come for mediation, what they do is they work out the same details in your office that they did in their home, and you're just refereeing their parts. So when you learn compassionate mediation, you learn how to help them make that decision for themselves. Again, many times attorneys are used as kind of temporary therapists for the emotions that run so high in a divorce. But when you learn compassionate mediation, you actually learn how to foster a peaceful resolution. And then you become known for that ability to help people heal. And if you're a clergy member, it helps you bring back the love that people once had to create a new beginning together. There is a lot of my clients who have done just that. They've decided that they were coming to a parting of the ways, but instead of their families being broken, they restructured their family. And they created a brand new ability to communicate with two separate homes where their children feel comfortable and loved. Here's what some of my clients have said about working with me. They've experienced significant improvements in their relationship with their husband and children, even if they're the only ones that learn this. Some have learned there could be a compassionate divorce. Others have created an entirely new marriage. And if they do get divorced, they get divorced mindfully, compassionately, consciously, and help their children avoid the shrapnel of their animosity. So I'd love to help you save your clients thousands of dollars that they have to pay to attorneys and retainers and legal fees, court costs when they go to court to separate or get divorced, therapy bills for themselves, their partners, their children. And when they have stress from being in an unhappy relationship, of course, it causes illness and lost wages and medical bills. So you become the one-stop shop for all of this as you learn compassionate mediation. Again, my book, Compassionate Mediation, How to Add Passion to Your Marriage or Compassion to Your Divorce. You can get a free chapter if you'd like at lindacrollbook.com. Gives you a free chapter. And my Kindle book on compassionate divorce is now available on Kindle Unlimited for free 
so you can learn what it means to offer people a compassionate divorce. If you choose to work with me in the certification process, we're going to have eight live two-hour weekly sessions, and I make it personal to you. We'll have question and answer sessions over the next three months. We'll have a private Facebook group. And you can take your online practice even further because I'm going to show you how to do that. As a meditation teacher, I'm going to show you how meditation can help you and also help you help your clients. And you get the PDF of both the books and those bonuses of both those programs. For 30 years, I've been an IFS therapist. And some of the therapists that have worked with me from IFS have worked with me in live trainings and have worked with me online. And I also have a compassionate mediation tools course that's available too. We're not just the drop in the ocean, we're the ocean in the drop. And that as therapists, coaches, mediators, attorney, clergy, counselors, we can remind other people that they are spiritual beings having a human experience. Love is the answer, and it starts with them loving themselves. And that's what you help them do, because it's not what they're doing, it's who they're being. And you help your clients be their best self, be their highest self. And once you do that, they are transformed. They can't go back to the typical adversarial divorce. It really does make a difference. And you teach them the miracle of empathy, how to forgive themselves and their partner and be kind to their inner child inside of each of them. And as they do that, they learn how to communicate. Because we know we're all grumpy from time to time. But learning how to speak for your anger instead of from your anger is part of this process. And no matter what their story is, if they're happy and want to make their relationship better, compassionate mediation will help them. If they're unhappy and stuck, you're going to help them move forward. If they want a separation, you'll be there to help them. And if they're in the middle of a divorce, your presence will change the trajectory of the divorce. And even people that are past their divorce can be helped by this process as they put into perspective how compassionate communication can help them heal. And people don't have to hide who they really are anymore. They don't have to hide their resentments. They don't have to hide their reactivity. And they learn compassionate communication in the first session with you, how they can connect to their highest self, let go of their limiting beliefs, unburden pain from the past, and relate from their heart. And as they relate from their heart, they remember that it truly is a new beginning. They can begin to start creating a new relationship with their current partner. And no matter how it ends, it's gonna be better than the one they have now.